Hello, welcome again to another exciting tutorial uh, with Playmaker and Unity uh, with me, Rumi Fauzi. This is the fourth episode, and in this episode, we are going to create the enemy and the uh, mechanics between uh, destroying enemies. So, let's get to it. First of all, I have uh, downloaded a new assets for the enemy. I found a, a bad not better looking but the one I've downloaded before is too dark so I try to search for another ship model and I have found I think it's this one so if you want to download it uh, you can download it I think this one is yeah this one so I have imported and then I've uh, rearranged the project folders all of the models that I've downloaded, I put it inside a subfolder called models. So here are all the fol uh, the models that I've used for this uh, projects. Okay, first we have to create an empty for the enemy system. So I'm going to create a new empty, and this will act uh, as a parent object for the enemy. So let's name this uh, enemy group A let's say enemy group A okay so I'm going to reposition the Y axis uh, 0 so it aligns with our hero ship and then I'm going just to repo uh, reposition outside from our camera so we cannot see it so I'm going to enable the icon so we can see on the editor so, okay just press gizmo okay so it's already outside from our camera view here we can see it that should be okay and then I'm going to drag the model that we have created before but first I think the prefab is broken we cannot see the mesh so I, I'm just going to drag this first and then I'm going to change the model here uh, I'm just going to drag the meshes so this is Canon so let's search for the Canon low and we can drag this model okay or we can just browse it from here search for Canon low and then for the engine trails just search for the engine trails so where is it engine trails and for the fighter low just search for the fighter low okay so that's our enemy ship and I'm going to rescale the model maybe to around 0.7 or 0.6 on all of the axes is it still too big I think that this should be okay okay and then we are going to create a box collider and make a bigger size just enough to encompasses the the model slide it on the Z axis I think this should be sufficient and then we are going to tag this object as an enemy okay so now we are going to make this object the child object of this enemy group so I'm going just to drag it inside to this enemy group A object and then I'm going to reset all of the position to A0 so it aligns with our parent group and then we are going to create an animation for this specific enemy so okay by selecting the fighter low prefab we are going to open the window animation uh, the animation window uh, the animation window and then to create an animation we just 
click create over here so create a new one and I'm going to save the file inside uh, animations folder I have already created and I'm going to rename this enemy a move to right so the movement is going to be like some sort like this so okay we are going to drag the timeline maybe around one and a half second and then I'm going to move on the Z axis to around here and then on the third second I'm going to move this to the right outside of the screen and a bit backward so it moves like this I think this should be okay or we can make the mo movement scale a bit smaller so on this specific keyframes we can push it back a bit so we can see it on the screen like that or maybe slide back and then let's try the movement so it's a maneuver like that okay this should be okay and we can just create a new rotation here by scrubbing the rotation just to create a new key for rotation and then uh, reset to zero and the z-axis make sure it's the z-axis because we want to create some sort of a banking or tilting effect so and here around this timeline here I'm going to rotate the z-axis bit Okay, maybe around 40 degrees should be enough so we can see the movement is okay something's went wrong I think so I found the problem the problem is the y-axis somehow gets animated uh, between the keys so it's exactly uh, it have the same value on both of the uh, first two keys but in between there's some sort of interpolation so it gives this funny movement so we can just expand the rotation keys and I'm going to delete the second key and the third key for the only the Y axis so, so now it will keep straight and it will bank as it till, uh, moves to the left okay so now next we are going to create an FSM for the enemy group so enemy group will handle uh, when to I mean to launch the child so we are going to create a new FSM and this are the FSM are going to be named maybe enemy group enabler so the first is we are going to we can do it like this so we can create a couple of child below it and we can just disable all of the child by uh, unchecking this uh, radio box here check box and under the enemy group we can just add a get next child and here we need to create a new game object variable current child and a thing num child integer we we need to create another variable in, of type integer and I'm going to call this num child so the number of children and first we are going to get the next child I think and I'm going to store the next child to current child and we are going to create a new event called launch oh sorry called launch child and uh, check child so launch child is basically basically for enabling the first uh, the next child and then I'm going to create a new state and I'm going to connect the launch child to the state and 
for the gex child I'm going to set the loop event to launch child and then I'm going to add a here I'm going to add a activate game object on the second state and then I'm going to specify a game object and use variable so we are going to enable the current child and after activating the current child we are going to wait for a while before going back to the first state so let's just add an wait action and then I'm going to change it to a very small value around 0 0.2 seconds so it delays a bit between uh, enable enabling the next child and I'm going to add a transition finish and then for the finish event I'm going to set to finish and go back to the first cell. okay uh, the beauty the beauty uh, with this FSM is we can just add as many enemies as you as you want to and it will uh, automatically play each of these fighter low prefab so I'm going to save the scene and let's try it there as you can see it creates some sort a movement but the problem is this enemy group is uh, is not parented to the camera it should be parented so in order to try this we can just parent the enemy group to the world moving system and let's try it there as you can see we have a nice formation of enemies and it loops <laughs> because we haven't delete the enemies so for the enemies I'm going to delete all of the other prefabs and I'm going to edit the first one So I'm going to add an FSM and here I'm going to destroy destroy object and I'm going to destroy itself by selecting the object from the scene or dragging its object to this slot here and I'm going to delete it for uh, after three and a half uh, three seconds and then make sure the animations the enemy a move to right anim is disabled the loop time is disabled so and let's try this it should run once okay we only have once and it gets disabled as you can see so if we want to create a couple more of enemy we just duplicate the child object and we will have a formation and if the formation is too close we can just uh, make the weight longer so maybe around 0 0.35 and let's try let's try and see ah, there it's a better it's a better enemy formation so that's all for this episode and for the next episode we are going to enhance or uh, expand this further we can uh, we are going to create the enabler the uh, collision system maybe and uh, the episode after the explosion and I hope you like this like this tutorial and if you like what you are watching please subscribe I see you on the next episode thanks for watching bye